football. I didn't get any stretch marks, any morning sickness. It's great. It's the best way to have children. Can you tell us about the upcoming season? Um, the theme is legacy and family, so it's going to be a lot about family, family dynamics from each character, but especially from the West Allen clan. Um, Nora has come back in time from the future, um, and we've got to figure out why she's back and what the ramifications are with, you know, tampering with the timeline. And why she's mad at you. And why she's mad at me. Yeah. Uh, question as to why? I know why, I'm not going to tell you guys why. <laughs> There is clear indication that she has some sort of issue with her mother, that she does not have with her father. She's very much daddy's girl, wants to be around the house, and is very reticent to, to spend any prolonged amount of time with her mom. Can you tell us about, since she's entered the family dynamic, does it put a strain on Barry and Iris' marriage, or does it actually improve it? I mean, as far as you know, so far. Um, not so far it hasn't put a strain. I think Iris is just innately a little bit perplexed and jealous. Not even jealous, but just disappointed that she doesn't have the same relationship with Nora that Barry has. Um, you know, and she's happy that Nora's there. She wants her to stay. Because to Iris, it's like... Seeing Nora means that Barry and Iris in the future, they get their happy ending that they've always dreamed of. To where it's, it's proof that things work out and as bad as their lives have been with the loss of parents and all sorts of mayhem, that they have, you know, a family, which is what they've both always ever wanted. Is she going to be seeking advice from her dad to kind of help? Oh, I'm sure. The wise Joe West. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Barry and Iris will get an earful of advice from Joe over the next season on how to be a parent. And what about Grandpa Joe? And what about what? What about Grandpa Joe doing more? Advice? Oh, Grandpa Joe. I thought you said John Bon Jovi. No. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, great. The great. Yeah, that, that was last week's interview. Right, okay. Um, yeah, Grandpa Joe, who's got a kid, a baby. I can't tell you much about that. I don't know what they're doing with that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting dynamic for, for him and Cecile to deal with this newborn and Cecile's powers. So now you have a grown child and an infant brother or sister. J Jenna, yeah. yeah, an infant sister, which is very, yeah, all of it's very confusing and complex. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself kind of a little bit like, I need somebody to clarify something? All the time. Like what's happening? But that's been that way since season one. When, they've, <laughs> when time travel got introduced, I was like, I'm going to need a sheet. The pictures, what timeline are we in, and what's happening? Yeah, it's very confusing. Do you think that the the team dynamic is going to change as well with the introduction of this new friction? Um, I don't think so. I think Team Flash will always be Team Flash, just with a few additions, Cecile and, and Ralph and Nora. Um, I think what's interesting this year is what I've noticed so far is that we're trying to shoot things in a way where the team is less together all the time and people are kind of separated into groups working on stuff which I'm very excited about. I think visually it'll be more interesting for the audience to not have all of us just standing around in Star Labs. Um, you'll see us kind of more in, in groups and pockets which I think is, is way more interesting and way more stimulating for us as actors too. And the show has a habit of shaking things up every year. Yeah. Um, how does the arrival of um, Nora kind of compare with other things that have happened at the beginning of the season? Uh, to me, this is the biggest thing that's happened. Um, besides Barry going back in time to save his mother, um, this is along those lines of really dealing with huge, huge um, timeline changes that could cause a huge problem. Um, anytime you go back and save someone's life, or you know, a family member from the future or the past comes back. It's 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 um, a surefire recipe for something very weird. Weird, yeah. So as you continue to kind of peel back more and more layers of this character, is there anything you're surprised to learn about um, yourself as an actress as we go through the seasons? You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Every year it's something different, you know, I was dealing with like her life possibly being taken away in season three. I think this season's going to be a big one for Iris dealing with the idea of motherhood, something we haven't really seen her deal with. And the fact that she didn't have a mother in her life, um, and that fear of feeling like, um, is she a good mother to Nora in the future? I think she has a fear there since Nora and her are not connecting, that maybe her future as a mother is not a good one, she's just like her mother. 
Um, so that's something she's going to have to continue this season. So yeah, it, it opens up new things for me as an actor to explore, which is interesting and exciting, and I think it'll be a good season for, for me. And also Iris, we're going to get back into her reporting this season, um, so that's something I, I'm really excited about. I've, spoken so much about having her have agency and seeing her outside of being a love interest, um, seeing her at her job. Um, so I hope that's something they stick to and really do. Terrific. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.